Hello, my friends. Coach Vig Vogue, but with an eye. Welcome to day eight of your 30 days of morning yoga program. Thanks so much for being here this morning or any time of the day. This is a super deep stretch. We're going to hold just a select few poses longer. Deepen the stretch, deepen the connection, deepen the breath. Great for recovery, great for strength. As always, great for balance and release. Today's random question, because I got to know, we all have to know, What's your favorite summer movie? I'm going to tell you right now, mine is Caddyshack. Caddyshack, let us know below. And thanks for starting your day with Coach Vig with me. I greatly appreciate it. Let me stand up here. I'm going to start with forward folds. We're in the shade today, by the way, because it's hot outside. A little better here. If I get bit, I do it for you. Everything I do, I do for you. I'm Brian Adams. Soften the knees. I went to school with the Brian Adams. Let's come down. Forward fold. You can place the hands here or let them come all the way down. Let's do a front view here. Grab the opposite arm with each hand and let's relax down. A little sway side to side, breathing in the nose and out the nose. Let's decompress the spine. Get some blood. Drowning the brain, drowning the mind, the head. Five more breaths. Connect with the stretch. You can always warm up before this. Relax the neck. Let the back of the neck be very smooth, very released. If I get abducted by something in the woods, call 911. Do it with good breath support. All right, flat back. Fingertips can be on the mat. Let me give you a side view for this. Or place the fingers on the shins up down here or up here. Or down here. Draw the shoulders back. Flatten out the spine. want to lengthen. So we're hinging forward through the crown of the head as we draw the shoulders back. We're unwrapping that beautiful alignment present. Big bow on it. Little rocking forward and back as well to stretch the backs of the legs. Bring the focus into your breath as always. In the nose, out the nose. Send the breath deep into the abdominals. Exhale all of it out each and every time. Two more breaths. You can also take the hands once you get looser with constant practice, consistency in your training, no matter what you're doing, consistency. Pretty much trumps everything else. You got to stay consistent. Or no matter how hard you work out, how long you work out, if you don't keep on going, things start to recede. Okay. Inhale, rising up. Stack that spine. Stack, stack, stack. Ooh. Ah, shoulders back and down. Shake it out. Keep it loose, always keep it loose. We all right over here? We have any crowds forming, always. Let's come to the reverse scorpion. So bring it down onto your stomach. Breathe, let those exhales really release you down. Take out the tension, no pressure, it's cool. Take the right arm over the body, right leg comes forward and sink down. Ah, there we go, let's switch the cap. I'm in the grass, I don't like that. But you're probably not as silly as me rolling around the grass. That'll be the epitaph on my tombstone. Sean V. Coach V lies here. Lived rolling in the grass. What a guy. Five breaths. Let this shoulder relax down. You can take this arm out also. Emphasizing the upper body twist. Both the arms can come out. Got some 
vom Schmutze an mich. Schmutze ich hier. Slow down the breath. Slow it down. It's very easy to speed up the breath and hollow it out, make the breaths very shallow. Slow it down. Let that breath penetrate deeper into the lungs, into the abdominals, the sides, into your lower back, the lumbar area of your back. That might have been more than five breaths, but so be it. It's good. Let's go to the other side. I'm flicking ants off my toes. <laughs> yes. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, left arm up and over. Speaking of balance, what am I doing? All right, up and over this leg out. Reach over, find your spot, find it. This 30 days of morning yoga program. You know, you follow me, you can modify it. You can add little nuances. Get to know your body, get to know how it works, how it responds. I'm merely a guide. I can't get inside as Atticus Finch famously said, what do you say, walk in somebody else's skin. Can't do that. You can only walk in yours. So learn as much as you can about how your body moves and reacts, how it doesn't react, how it works as a complete unit or where the disparities are. I find that these flows and these stretches really, they're a magnifying glass on your body in the best possible way. A lot of people, we don't wanna know where those discrepancies are, where our weaknesses are, but I want to know where they are. I want to shore them up. I want to strengthen them. Yeah, playing with my armpit too. I want to know that. One more breath. How does that feel? When I teach this reverse scorpion in a live class, it always gets a huge response, very positive. A lot of oohs and ahs, sounds, adjustments. All right, back to the center. Let's bring it up. Whew. Now this next one is going to knock your eyes out. It's a, well, we'll start with a thread the needle child's pose. Let's start there. But I got something coming. Got something cooking here. So take the left arm underneath the right. We start here. You can stay in this pose, of course. Or go to the knot. K-N-O-T. So this arm is across, and then the right arm goes across. You want to bring them, take the knees a little wider, around where your chest is. Some of you might have difficulty with that. Work it out, bring the arms further forward perhaps, or stay and thread the needle. When was that? I think, I believe I was at the gym yesterday. I did some weights, did some machines and stuff, but I wasn't feeling it. My body was pushing back a little bit. So when that happens, I always go down to the mat at the gym, did some core work, did some stretches, and I finished with this and uh, did both sides like we'll do here. And the release was so intense, I felt woozy, that, that drunkenness you get from really wringing out the body, focusing on the breath, on the release, letting the stretch do its work. My back and shoulders really opened up. So breathe, relax, see what beautiful stuff pops up. Let's do five more breaths, then we'll switch sides, either thread the needle or the knot. Work on the breath. Work on deepening the inhales, deepening the exhales. The breath is not a monosyllabic wall. Does that mean something what I just said? It meant something to me, but it's, it's not something that just stays the same. It's always growing. It's always improving if you want it to. Discovering more how your breath works, how the respiratory system works in your body you you were given that system 
You got to work on it. You got to cherish it. Deepen those breaths. Use the breath to help you in any situation. Okay, let's unwind. I had my right arm on top. Remember that. Ooh, let's come up. Feeling that a little tipsy. Place the fingers behind you. Let's open up into the mudra. You can also sit cross-legged. So at the gym, what I've noticed lately, especially down here in Florida, it's, it wasn't as much in Colorado. Maybe I wasn't looking. But uh, at this gym here, I'd say nine, at least nine out of ten people are on their cell phones pretty much the whole time they're in the gym. You see little sets here and there, see things going on, but then it's back to the phone. Uh, it's the posture. It's that posture. It's here. I mean, you can look at the phone. Sit up like this if you really got to look at it. Really want to check your Instagram. Who liked my post on me saying I was going to the gym to work out? Who liked that? It's fine, but sit up tall. Roll those shoulders back. Focus on your breath. I feel like you're taking yourself out of the workout constantly when you're doing that. You're losing that flow, you're losing the focus, the through line of action, you're losing the breath. Of course, the posture and alignment are out. When I'm at the gym, I, I never stop moving. Always moving, always doing something, even between sets, maybe on a bench press or a machine. I do twist, do side bends. I hover, I levitate. It's amazing. All right, let's do that knot on the other side. So we have thread the needle or the knot stretch. Switch it, other side here, got the left arm on top. Open the knees, you can add some little rocking forward and back, but be aware of what you're doing at the gym. Be aware of what you're doing all day long. It's uh, Fitness for me is, is flow, it's movement, it's always thinking about it, always adding things in to emphasize and to enhance. Of course, I don't do it all the time, but I know when I'm not because I feel blah. I don't feel right, I feel off. Not hydrated, not getting enough sleep, not breathing properly, distracted. I feel terrible. Don't like that feeling, though I still do it sometimes. I don't want to do bad, but I do it. I think the Apostle Paul said that. I don't want to do bad, but I still do it. But it's good to be aware. All right, enough of that. Let's breathe. Yeah, this guy just keeps talking by the woods. He's by the woods and he's talking. Five more breaths. <clears throat> Little rolling side to side, perhaps. That rolling thunder across the rear deltoids, the rhomboid area, the uh, my chicken wings back there, my shoulder blades. Definitely a hot spot of tension. Can have disrupted blood flow in those areas from bad alignment, bad habits, movement patterns that are, aren't helping. Rolling thunder, I like that. Rolling thunder. It's a new heavier alcohol version of rolling rock. Okay. One more breath. That's the stuff right there. Sometimes the most challenging part is coming out of it. Coming out of it. Where am I? What state am I in? State of Florida. Okay. <laughs> ha. It's laughing. All right. Need a position. Cross legged or legs in front of you. I'll tell you what, shake it out. Ooh, how do those shoulders feel, my friend? Definitely some mobility in here. Sometimes it's a shock to the system. Take the hands back or forearms down. We're just going to open it up. Drop the shoulders back. Counteract the inversion that inversive, is that a word? Inversive nature of that child's pose. With this nice back bend. It's good seeing a lot of people out biking. I like that. It's hard to be in a bad mood when you're out on a bike ride. I've been doing my night walks again. I can do that here in Florida and Colorado. Forget about it. In the mountains, you're just asking for trouble. Plus, there's no lights up in the mountains. 
kind of walking around like this, you know. Where am I? What's that furry thing I'm touching? <sighs> Walked outside last night. My sprinklers. <laughs> we have a new house here. Well, it's, it's an older new house. We've bought it, so it's new for us. But uh, <laughs> I have some work to do on the sprinklers. There's some geysers going on, busted sprinkler heads. I might have to have a professional come and look at it. I can do some of that, but there's some weird stuff going on with those sprinklers. <laughs> geysers and yeah, some are pretty bent. They've been hit with lawnmowers and stuff. There might be leaks in the line, so that was a nice surprise. Oh, okay. Let's do one more, one more. Don't want to give away the whole farm right here. Plus I don't have a farm to give away. If I had a farm, I would not give it away. Butterfly stretch. Bottoms of the feet together. We got this option. We've done this before. We have the elbows pressing down. Everyone's favorite and least favorite. The option to go further is the fire log. You're gonna bend this leg and place this ankle on top of the thigh. Now with the logs, we're stacking the logs. That's really clever, isn't it? Let them dry out so they're better for the wood stove. We could stay here or take it hinging forward. I'm gonna keep my elbows on the mat. A lot of red ants in this vicinity. I'm gonna rock side to side. Lots of breath. Uh, you know, I can hear you out there. Those of you, God bless you, you're doing the fire log. You might not think you're doing it, but you're doing it. I hear some things being said, some sounds, some words. I can make them out. Don't worry, I've said them myself. Just instead of using all that energy for the words, focus on the breath. That's right. Okay, switch sides or stay in the butterfly. There's a nice big wasp or hornet of some kind going by. By the way, everything here in Florida, the insects are always, they're bigger than anywhere else. They're mutated and they're, they're like purple and red. I'm not new to Florida. I've lived in Florida off and on for many, many years. But, uh, yeah, there's some, there's some bugs out there. Look like 50s sci-fi movies, the atomic stuff, the big grasshoppers, big beetles, big horse flies. They're actually horses. How's that fire log treating you? Good? More breath? Relax. My uh, advice to... Uh, Getting better at fire log, one, practice it every day, two, practice it every day, and three, do a lot of breath. And when you're stretching, when you're leaning into something really challenging like this, it always sounds strange, but uh, that sounds strange too, but don't think about it. Think about something else. Think about the beach. Think about the blue sky. Think about something that you really enjoy while you're doing it. Take your mind off it. That's how we release into these stretches the more challenging ones we don't punch our way in we release all right shake out the arms and legs all right my friends we got lots more to do we'll save it for another day this is day eight of your 30 days of morning yoga program the link to join all 30 days is below you can start at any time and uh this was a super deep stretch the random question for today which we have to know is what's your favorite summer movie i already told you mine's caddyshack Thrashin is a number two, and maybe Meatballs number three. Look those up. Let me know below. Let us know below. We have to know these random questions. Subscribe, like, comment, share, click that notification bell. This is serious stuff. I know I joke around in these videos, but when you stay on these consistently, the benefits and results and the feeling you get from it, the focus, uh, it is massive, but you got to stay consistent. I want longevity. I don't know what you want. We all have different fitness goals. I'm, I'll be 47 this month. I might already be 47 by the time you see this. So I want longevity. I want to feel good. I want to feel good for my wife, for my son, for my family, for my neighbors, for my community, for my clients. I want to feel good so I'm able to be active and do things and be productive and keep paying it forward. 
So always look for that why. There's always a why. The why might change sometimes, but you gotta ask that question all the time. Never just go along with it. Ask why. All right, that's enough of that. We'll see you tomorrow for day nine. Until then. Hey, my friend, it's Coach Vig once again. I wanna give you a special gift to show you how much I appreciate you training with me. It's my most popular 30-minute yoga routine from my exclusive Sean Vig Fitness Training app. All you have to do is click the first link in the comment section below and you'll get that video immediately and I'll add you to my mailing list.